dubstep but knowing me this could probably turn out to be some completely different genre because my mind is literally bipolar we're gonna start this off with the intention of keeping this dubstep <laughs> I pull up in that Lambo with the team down. so for this um little vocal sample i'm just gonna slap on some vocal synth too everything on fleek for you got the rims on I, I pull up in I pull up in the limbo with the team, don't it? Every I pull up in the limbo with the team, don't it? Every so, um, this is why I love using Ableton because it's so fast. I pull up in the limbo with the team, don't it? Everything on flick, 40 out of limbs, don't I, I pull up. Okay, that was easy. Use, uh, Command A and then Command U. I like to use the portamento. Everything on flick, 40 out of limbs. Also, I'm in 10, so if you hit A, um, it shows automation and then takes it off. So that's a, just an easy um, thing to know. And then I'm just going to automate the filter cutoff. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And then what I'm going to do is put auto filter on this. And the trick is to add just a little bit of resonance. Okay, so I found this cool um, riser sound that I just added a filter on it because I wanted to start off low and then we're gonna BAM! Slowly increase that shit. Automate this whole Awesome, I really like that. And then we're just gonna add some reverb to it because I want this to sound messy and dirty. Um, for some reason, the reverb preset for filter just makes crazy sounds. Okay, so I like that. And then open hat sound. Okay, and I found this cool drum roll sound. Sometimes instead of just increasing the volume with like saturation or whatever, just using the one that's like built into the sample itself is better. Okay, we're just gonna sh hold the shift key down, duplicate these bitches. What I'm gonna do is side chain um this serum sound which was that like deeper reese uh bass sound so we're just gonna slap on a compressor on here and then uh i like to increase the ratio side chain and then this is when you rename this kick um input kick <laughs> I'm not really too happy with the snare. Let me see if I can find something better. If not, I'm just gonna stick with it because I don't want to take forever. Maybe I'll layer it. Let's see. Alright, okay, that sounds better. And then I'm gonna do a rev, I think, on... So I'm gonna copy the compressor um, that I used on the respace and I'm gonna put it on the vocal because I also want to sidechain the kick to the vocal. Not as much though. Okay, so I like this build up. So what I did is I transposed it down to negative 12. And then we're going to turn the pitch up. So I'm just going to build this up. Uh, 
uh, vocal part, I'm going to consolidate it. And then we're going to also pitch this up. I'm going to build up the snares the same way. Build up these um, layered ones the same way too. Make sure everything is on right. Shit. Okay. Consolidate these. Consolidate these. Consolidate these kicks also. Um, I'm going to start with pitching up these kicks. Also. The same compressor, I'm going to put that on the riser as well. I just want the go part. The Also pitch it up. So I'm pitching that up to 24 semitones. Put your hands. Put your hands to the roof. 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 And then on this um, drum fill, I'm also going to put auto filter on it, but this time we're going to do a high Just a little bit like this. We finished our intro build up, um, that crazy little drop thing, and now we're going to do like the main part of the song. So, the question is, what the fuck am I going to do? So, to make this simple, because I don't want this video to be 10 million, 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 million minutes long, let's just do a simple boom, you know. We're going to make our own growls and sounds today. To set this up, make a new audio track and go to resampling and then we're going to solo both these tracks and en en enable recording on both of those tracks. Alright, so I found a sound in Serum and what I'm going to do is just basically record it and then uh, convert it to audio. <laughs> And literally, you just drag this over. It's the easiest thing. I'm gonna add some erosion to these horns. And then what I'm gonna do is on the sub on that one part, we're gonna add um, erosion. Add a tremolo. So I think to make this different, what I'm going to do is maybe instead of having this re-space, I keep the traditional rhythm like wobble. This time what I'll do is I'll lower the LFO rate. <laughs> I'm free, don't you got a real song?